Uh, you know what it is. That's Promise St. John officially here on the Quick Silver Show. What's up, brother? What's happening, fam? Hey, welcome, man. I'm happy to be here. I'm in D.C. My second time. Hey, man, you have a big fan base here, man. Yeah. Absolutely. I like hearing that. Hey, man, of, of course, if people don't know, of course, you're from East New York. I'm from uh, East New York, Brooklyn, for people that don't know. Yeah. Right, shout out to Brooklyn Zone. He's officially in the city. You, uh, you've been doing amazing with your album. Shout out to your album, of course, um, Ghetto Lenny. Yeah. What exactly is Ghetto Lenny, in case somebody don't know what Ghetto Lenny stands for? I mean, when people see me, I think I favor Lenny the Kravitz. original Lenny. Mm -hmm. Right? I think it's the same spirit, that type of energy. Because right. he's from Brooklyn, too. I know. So, you know, a Brooklyn guy, black guy, came from, you know, strange circumstances. And it feels like rock and roll. Right. right? So, do, so, do you consider yourself like a rock and roll hippie rapper all in one? Nah, I don't think about that. Really? Yeah, I just make music. I like leather pants and silk shirts. <laughs> and I like models. I mean... As you should. Yeah, you call that whatever you want to call that. As you should, yeah, man. I just now, call it Monday. Of course, a lot yeah. of people who might not know, of course, St. John, uh, not only are you an amazing artist and you are dope, uh, you're also a songwriter as well. Yeah. Um, uh, just a couple of songs that I know, when I found out you were really kind of behind uh, that Beyonce record, I think it's about brown skin, yeah. I was like... So this guy's writing records for Beyonce. This guy's doing sessions with Rihanna, and he's making music. This guy might be around for a while. Not bad, maybe. <laughs> I might stick around for long. Right now, also you're co-signed by somebody who's a hip hop royalty. In case you don't know, of course, Biggs. If y'all know who Biggs is, I'm not talking about Biggie Smalls. I'm talking about Biggs, one of the founders of Rockefeller Records, who yeah. started with Jay Z and, and Damon Dash. Um, how'd that collab happen with you and Biggs? Uh, naturally, I yeah. met him at a fashion show of all places. Mm -hmm. I ran into him at, uh, at the Pyramar show in New York. Right. Just sometime last year, we became fast friends. I knew everybody else from the team, so I knew Ty Ty mm -hmm. and everybody else from Rock Nation. So I was just walking up to him to say, what's up? And introduce yeah. myself. And he was familiar with my music already. So he said, yo, I like your music. Let's take a picture. Mm -hmm. And we became, we just became good friends. He's like a brother. Right. Right. He's like the older brother I just never had, but I always knew existed. And it was, the rest yeah, of it was normal, yeah. And that's kind of how, like, when I first started hearing about you, I would see you on his Instagram page. I'm like, who's this guy all, all ahead, man? Then, of course, he, <laughs> he, he, he would tag up. So, but he would tag up, like, let me look into this guy St. John. Then I hear your music. I'm like, okay, this guy's actually pretty dope, man. Right. Yeah. Um, so, like, bef you would discover me around when Biggs right. posted me. Before that, I'd been on two world tours before that on my own. That's amazing, man. So Ghetto Lenny's Love Songs is my second collection of music, my second body of work. Wow. My first one, which is called Collection One, it took me around the world mm -hmm. a couple of times. Me and Post Malone done a couple of tours together. I've done every Rolling Loud possible. It feels like right. 20,000 of them. Right. And now I'm in D.C. for the second time. Right. Now I'm getting, now there's an audience here for me because I was patient enough to just sort of build it. And that's why I'm glad. Is that frustrating to know you've been around for a while? Like you said, you sold out, you know, not just small venues. You're talking concerts and festivals. Um, and then you go into a market and there's somebody like, yo, I know you from a year ago. You're like, nah, I've been consistent for quite some time. Does that ever bother you when you go into another city or a new city? No, nah, you can't fault people for when they find you. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. They catch you when they catch you. It's not in sequence. Mm -hmm. It's not like this birthday. She caught you with this birthday, so she got to remember all the other ones that <laughs> right, she right, missed. Right. <laughs> nah, you caught this one. Cool. Happy first birthday. Thanks. Happy, man. That's what it feels like. Hey, say job, man. I really salute you for all your hard work, man. Of course, you've been around for a while, but I'm glad I know who you are now. All of our listeners know who you are. You got a song with Meek Mill, um, Anything Can Happen. Can I play that in your mind? You could absolutely play Anything Can Happen featuring me, Meek Mill. By the way, he's a legend for that, right? Facts. Because he's just a genuine guy. I mm -hmm. walked in, We walked in the studio, and he was like, let's do it. Right. And it was that simple. It's rare that it's ever that simple. Someone of that stature has done so much in a culture that goes, yo, fam, I like what you're doing. Right. I support it. Well, same it was time. like that. The same way with Lenny, too. Right. Same way with a, with a Boogie. Wow. It's just, you know, real people. I got to imagine it's the same way with Beyonce. She put me on a record, left me on a song, Come and I wrote the now. record. Brag about it, man. A lot of people I mean, don't notice about St. John. Like, this guy's not just an artist. This guy's a, a bona fide hit writer. I try to do my thing. Nah, 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 a little nah, bit. Now he wants to get humble. You're from East New York. Nobody from East New York is humble. Listen, this is fake humble, bro. Let me just catch it. Let me catch my fake cocky, humility man. real quick, right? Get cocky, my five man. seconds. <laughs> nah, because I let the work speak for itself. Facts. I like that. Right, right. I don't got to do a whole lot. I walk into a room and I got my fur on. You know exactly who just walked in a room. Facts. But I let the music play when it's time to play the music. Facts. I don't got to do too much talking. Say your last man. Here's St. John featuring Meek Mill. Anything that happened around the Quicksilver Show. St. John right here on the Quicksilver Show. Salute, man. Support my guy.